Ukrainian troops make progress on Bakhmut front. Andriy Kovalov, the spokesperson for the general staff of the armed forces, has said that to the north and south of the city of Bakhmut, the defenders continue to pressure the Russians and drive them from the previously seized borders. They have partial success and gain a foothold on the achieved borders. The Russians are putting up fierce resistance and suffering huge losses. Heavy fighting continues here. At the same time, according to Kovalov, the Ukrainian military continues to restrain the offensive of the Russian occupation forces on the Lyman, Avdivka and Marinka fronts. The battlefield situation has escalated again in the Bakhmut area, with two sides trying to gain the initiative, Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malia reported. Ukrainian forces are advancing on the city's southern flank near the village of Klishivka, said Malia. However, the situation is changing very rapidly. Control over the same positions can be lost and regained twice a day, the official added. According to Malia, Russian forces quickly react to Ukraine's actions, setting up three lines of defense in threatening directions. Ukrainian troops started offensive operations in the Bakhmut direction around June the 24th, gradually advancing on the southern and northern flanks. As Malia said earlier, Bakhmut has developed a system of engineering fortifications and strongholds, but it's currently occupied by the Russian army, which complicates the city's liberation. According to the Institute for the Study of War, Ukraine's offensive operations near Bakhmut may pressure Russia into making a difficult decision to redeploy its forces from other Ukrainian territories.